Hello everyone, Nick here with Scog and Dickie. Today's tech video is all about rocker arms for your Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS and your Gen 5 LT. You know, back in the day with the Gen 1 small block, they came from the factory with a stamped steel rocker arm. It was actually a good quality piece, but once you started putting a big cam, you know, high pressure valve springs in that engine, it, it, you needed to upgrade it. And that's what kind of you, you're probably familiar with these. This is a really nice aluminum uh, rocker arm here from uh, Yelaterra. It is a roller uh, trunnion as well as a roller tip. These are very high quality, very racy stuff. But when the LS came out in the 90s, they came out with these style rock arms here. This is an LS3 that I've removed the guts on. And these are a uh, investment cast steel. These are really high grade, really high strength. We almost see zero failures in these when it comes to the rocker arm body itself. They're actually pretty trick for something that when you're used to the stamped steel rocker arm, all the weight is carried in the trunny. You can see that they have a lot of bracing on the, on the nose and of course on the tail here where the push rod goes to keep valve train stability at its highest. The problem is over the years, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard, is the factory needle bearings and the trunnions that went inside here. When you start putting in a big cam, start kicking up those RPMs and the, you know, the valve springs start getting a little stiffer, you would end up with some needles in the bottom of your oil pan. These trunnions would fail. In stock applications, that, that uh, trunnion is actually a very high quality piece. It's actually a full floating design with needle bearings in it. And believe me when I tell you that when GM tests these for their durability, they really beat on them and they don't, didn't show really any failures. It's when we start modifying them as hot rodders is when this starts needing to be upgraded. Luckily, the aftermarket has realized the need for this. And instead of offering high dollar trick rocker arms like these, which they still do, if you're running a solid roller cam, especially some of you that are running like a, a low lash solid roll in the street, these are great. Yellow Terra makes a really high quality rocker arm. It's got a, a adjustable push rod cup right here. So you can really set that lash. But today we're definitely talking about the trainings on the factory rock arms because most of you street guys, this is all you're ever going to need and it's a little bit cheaper. So there's a few different kits out there. We have the, the comp cams roller style training upgrade. We also have the Skog and Dickey pressed bronze bushing upgrade and then another bronze bushing upgrade. This one's a real nice piece by CHE. These are very popular. Now, we've been getting a lot of questions about these. People get online and they start looking at the different upgrades that are available and they ask, well, you offer so many different upgrades, the prices can kind of vary. Is, is one better than the other? Better is not the term we're needing to use here. It's whatever fits your application. It's what you're going to use it for. You have a stock LS3, heck, even the LS3 525 crate engine and an LS7 uses the stock trunnion without any problems. That is when we start asking questions. If you've put a bigger cam in it, that's when we're starting to look at these upgrades. So let's discuss some of these. Let's look at some of the options here, what they do great, and what the, you might need more of. First one here, this is the comp cams uh, trunnion upgrade. This is one of the first ones that came out. These are really high quality. They have hardened steel trunnion bodies here, and they also offer a roller. It's kind of hard to take apart here without <laughs> messing it up, but uh, they offer a roller just like this, but it's caged a lot better with uh, external snap rings. This is so you can get that same roller style action as the stock one, but they're much, much stronger for higher lift cams and higher valve spring pressures. The next one that's offered is the one that we offer. This is the press in bushing style. It presses these bronze bushings press into the uh, rocker arm body, just like the comp cams one. But instead of roller bearings, these are very, very high quality bronze. Get a look at that bronze bushings that ride on this polished hardened body here. You can see some oil grooves in here and that's actually how it gets its oiling. Same way as always, the oil comes up through the push rod and splashes in here and oils it. These are great for your street guys, guys with a bigger cam, 650 lift or less, you know, turning up to 7,000 RPMs. This would be a great budget upgrade for you street guys. Now you're probably now wondering, you were like, okay, what, what's the point of the CHE? What's, what's the difference here? The CHEs take this one step further and I'm gonna kind of try my best to describe this to you. This is also a bronze bushing style 
trunnion upgrade. It uses a high quality hardened steel body on the trunnion, just like the others do. And it's got, you know, some spiral oil groovies in here, real nice trick stuff. You'll notice that there's some spiral oil grooves on the outside though. That's because this does not press into the rocker body. <clears throat> These are great because you don't need to press to install them. I like these because I'm lazy and I like to install these by hand. These are a full floating bushing. So not only does this bushing ride on the center trunnion, the rocker arm body rides on the bushing. Now you're, you're wondering, well, what's the point of that? You said these were perfectly fine. They're great. These are for the real high end race guys. If you are <clears throat> autocross road racing or turning some very high RPMs, this is probably your last step before some real trick custom rocker arms. And the reason for that is, is that you press this bushing into the rocker arm body, you add weight to that rocker arm. So as your engine's turning RPM, like take a look here, you know, this, this is doing this motion at idle 300 times a minute. You're turning 7,000 RPMs, it's doing 3,500 times a minute. These things are a blur. All that weight, can affect valve train stability. So yes, I know, 11 grams in the center of the rocker body, it matters. It matters when you're turning those RPMs and it really matters when you're doing shifting. This rocker arm has to go at full on the cam lobe and then right back the other direction at an astronomical amount of speed. When you're shifting from, let's say, almost 8,000 RPMs into the next gear down that straight, the RPMs drop quicker than you can blink. You need to make sure that you have a bushing that can handle that. <clears throat> and that is where these come in. So I hope I've answered some questions here today. All of these are high quality pieces. All of these can fit your needs as long as we pick the right ones for your application. If you have any more questions about these and what can work best for your application, please give us a call. Visit our website at sdparts.com. We would love to help you. Also, we are doing more tech videos. And again, if you have any more uh, comments or questions, please let us know in the comments below on, on Facebook, on YouTube. We're wanting to know what what puzzles you, what concerns do you have when building an engine? We wanna be able to answer those questions for you. We really appreciate you guys stopping by. See you next time.